Greetings adventurers, and welcome back to Abnormal Voyages. My name is David, and today we find ourselves on world famous Route 66 in Arcadia, Oklahoma at the one and only Round Barn. So don't be a square, tag along. We're going to a place that you've never heard of before. It's Outside of the round barn, they have little pieces of farm life, things that were used back in the day when it was made, such as this metal rim maker here that made spoked wagon wheels, and a corn chiller. These have both been uh, donated, so they are genuine items that were used then. As you make your way around, there are more items, just like those, that are littered throughout the grounds, so that you're able to see a good amount of the farming equipment and things that were used here on the property of the round barn. This one was an actual John Deere as well. Pretty cool to see these out here and still in pretty workable condition. An essential part of life was of course outhouses. In Arcadia there actually was a running gag that on Halloween night somebody, they don't know who, would move all the outhouses in town around to random locations. They never discovered who it was. But this one here has been restored. This is one of the original ones they used to use. Let's uh, check it out. I guess cozy as far as outhouses go. You got your two holes here in case you have a very good friend that you would like to share this with. And uh, this is pretty much it. You got your Sears Robug catalog there just to give you some little reading material. And uh, yeah. That's the outhouse. No Route 66 attraction is complete without an official Route 66 roadside attraction sign. You can read on here all about it. It was built in 1898 and restored in 1992. The bottom floor of the round barn is dedicated to a museum that tells you a little bit about the barn and the time period it was built in. Let's check it out. The first big display you come to is a complete timeline about the entire history of the Round Barn. From its creation all the way to it falling into disrepair and then the entire movement behind it to recreate it and have this iconic structure back up and running. Something I thought was really interesting was the thought process behind a Round Barn. The original builder figured that since there was a lot of tornadoes in this area if he built his barn to be round instead of square, the wind would be able to just go around it instead of hitting those sharp corners and plowing through the building. Apparently, that's how wind works. At the very least, at least it made a very interesting building at the end of things. It was great seeing these pictures throughout the entire process, and then there were some amazing drawings these were recreating different articles and things that just explained a little bit about the time period it was going on in. This one actually just had a cute little squirrel in it. You gotta have that there, right? Who doesn't like squirrels? But yeah, you could actually purchase these as well, just in case you wanted to take a little art home and always have that constant reminder of your wonderful trip here at the iconic Round Barn. As a matter of fact, this barn has inspired other artists as well. This is really cool here. This is a diorama model built of the round barn. And though it's much smaller than the actual building, this still took over 900 hours of work to get it to how it is now. As you can probably guess from the many ribbons around this model, this has been entered and won several contests of people who were very impressed with this model. Though it is, of course, a much, much smaller scale, a lot of the same principles that went into building the big original one went into creating this tiny round barn. Being my favorite color, I really appreciate the big green roof on this one. It makes me wish that the roof of the real round barn was such a bright green like this. 
it would stand out even more than it already does. Though the Round Barn here is famous and on Route 66, we have a whole collection of books here that tells you about other Round Barns all over the country. All you gotta do is pop it open. Let's say that you're interested in what may be in Kansas. You go over here and now you got pictures and details about other Round Barns in Kansas. It's like this with every state that has Round Barns in it. Montana, Missouri, Mississippi, Ohio, of course, Oklahoma. We got the famous Round Barn right here. This is really cool. Definitely took somebody a lot of time to find all this. Uh, let us know if you got a round barn near you. They've also got some books on display here where you can flip through and see pictures of building. This was constructing the new roof for the round barn. This was done in 2009. This is all the work that went into it and getting that acoustic wonder set in place. For those curious, they made sure to have a decent amount on hand of original farming equipment that was used here at the Round Barn back in the days when it was used as an actual barn. Considering the majority of these pieces were well over a hundred years old, I think it's really fascinating that they managed to preserve them and still have them on display here for anybody that happens to come by and is curious about the good old days. A really cool Route 66 artifact they have on display. This is just a print of it, but the original artwork was a map of all the states that are on Route 66. It was taken by hand to every single post office that is located on Route 66. Each one of them put their stamp on it. As you can see, we actually have Arcadia right here, and then the Round Barn, which is right over here. But they got every single place to stamp on here. So this is a collection of every single post office that was on the route in 1997. And then there was a small area that honors all the people who were involved in bringing back the Round Barn and several awards and mentions from the city of just how iconic and appreciated the Round Barn is. Here's actually some bricks that you can buy yourself and have your name immortalized here. It's become a very classic piece of Route 66 Americana. And if you come on the second Sunday of every month, you can even listen to some live music being played. We're now heading up to the top of the Round Barn. Welcome to the upstairs loft portion of the Round Barn. You can actually rent this out for weddings, meetings, any kind of event you want to have. You can have it at this awesome location and there is gorgeous acoustics in here. Very cool, very unique. Definitely an event you would remember. Though some people may dismiss this as simply another barn in the middle of Oklahoma, it's nice to see that the right people got their hands on it and realized the history and magic that still exists in these round walls. Well, that's all the time we have for today. My name is David, and this has been Abnormal Voyages. Thanks for tagging along. We'll see you next time.